So, Paul, you were pretty pleased by Saturday's performance. What was it? What aspects did you like most about the performance? I think the energy levels, um, certainly compared to the Crawley game. At Stockport it was good, um, but being at home and against a good team, and I think dealing with the atmosphere, you know, that's something we spoke about. It's not that often that you get that sort of crowd and, like I say, atmosphere within the ground. So it's great, but only if you can handle it. And I think the players showed that they could. Um, if, for my opinion, uh, whatever that's worth, thought we got on top of Bradford the longer the game went, but still. You know, knew that they had got the threats um, on, on the counter attack, but as, as I said, I think most aspects of the game, what we want to see, were there. Just that last bit, and I guess the all important bit of, of putting the ball in the back of the net. But some of that was, you know, down to some good saves um, rather than bad finishing. Greeny in the the crossbar, that's a maybe a little bit of a bad look, or a couple of inches the other side, and, and we're celebrating a good goal. Sometimes you have to give credit to their keeper rather than maybe blame your own players for not taking those opportunities. Yeah, and again, I'd try and do that at the right times. He, he certainly made the team of the week, I've seen in, in some instances, and as um, you know, well spoke of, and, and rightly so. I thought he, he did extremely well for them. Um, but both teams had some, like I say, opportunities. I just felt that we had, had more, certainly the longer the game went. We had the one right on half time as well with, with Gav that I think on another day he'd certainly take. He was a little frustrated in himself, but you know, the, for me, a, a big part of it is getting into the right positions in the first place. Uh, and he chipped in with a couple of goals recently. So, yeah, it was, it was a good afternoon, but one we have to move on from quickly and we can't certainly bask in any um, praise in terms of the performance, if, if not quite the result we wanted because we go to Barra and that was a totally different challenge, uh, but an extremely difficult one all the same. If Mark you saying after the game that it was a point game for them, does that say how far along you've really come over the last few weeks and months really? Yes, I would think so with their aspirations, the form that they've been in. Um, I think he, he was happy, that's, that's kind of the impression I got. Um, and I think we certainly played against a team that will be up there at the end of the season. So that's credit to the players. Um, but as I said, he's, he's doing it week in, week out. And so far, the players have been good. Performance levels across the set of games have been pretty um, pretty good and consistent. Um, there's always going to be some slight dips or peaks, but overall, we I don't think we've had a game where we felt we've been you know really poor. I think the score line suggests we've always been competitive uh, and that needs to continue because you've got to be consistent over the course of the season if you if you want to be successful. Now that you've performed well against a number of the promotion, promotion hopefuls, would you put yourself in that category or is it still a game-by-game -game basis at the moment in time? Um, I think it's too early still. I think what we, or what I want the players to at least take a little bit of confidence from it is that we've played some good teams and have probably held his own in, in a lot of those. Um, but again, it, it, the league is very tight, and you know some of the, the, the there's a bit of separation in the table. Um, but at the same time, a lot of these, a lot of the score lines um, are very tight across the league. There's not been too many games where there's been a real sort of hammering for a side. So we are certainly respectful of that and understand that and know that we've got to try to put on another good performance to make that long trip uh, back from Barra uh, a happy one. Speaking of, about that long trip, what's the process now after a pretty tough game on Saturday, quick turnaround, what's the process for the players during these couple of days? Yeah, they had um, some recovery to do at home, uh, so the players were asked to you know, perform certain uh, exercises, etc., to to make sure that when they come in today, they're in a better shape than just being perhaps laid in bed all day if they're a single lad. Uh, the ones that have got families, I'm sure that uh, you know the partners uh, and the children, if they've got any, make sure that they're not laid in bed all day. Um, but just got to you know, you got to get yourself going a little bit, and then today some training, not too long, of course, and then tomorrow. We'll make that journey up there, which it's you know it's a long way, but 
couple of the teams have to go there. Um, Barra have to come here at some point, so we know what it is. Um, but it is just trying to give ourselves the best chance of being as fresh as possible going into, you know, like I said, what will be a tough game. Are there any injury concerns or fitness concerns going into the game? A um, couple maybe from training today. Um, I don't want to alert Barra in terms of names, uh, but we'll have to check on them and that might even be as late as tomorrow morning um, before we name the squad 100% that he's going to get on that coach and, and make that journey. Even without those potential injury concerns, was you thinking about maybe freshening things up at all? Yeah, um, and while sometimes you, you know the team, I, I'll be truthful, I, I haven't set my mind on, on the team at this moment in time. Looked at a few of the players today, You know, I'll get the staff to speak to them uh, a bit more as well uh, before making that decision because it was a big effort at the weekend. Uh, we've got a squad, we've also got another game coming up. Um, the most important one is certainly tomorrow night first and foremost, but I have to try and balance that out and, and look forward a little bit as well um, and try and make sure I, I make the right decisions. Um, but whether I do or not, it, I might do and we might still not get the result we want or vice versa, who knows, but you've just got to try and, you know, like I said, use your eyes, your experience to, to pick that team that gives us the best chance of, of getting a, a positive result. So Barra had a really good start under new manager Pete Wilde. What kind of do you expect from them? They've had the tailed off last few weeks, but do you still expect a really tough game with them? Yeah, I think they look like they're just coming back into into that form. Um, as you said, started uh, like house on fire. Really uh, positive results for them. I think there's a get the impression from afar, good feeling around the place. I think Pete was got a new contract very quickly. Um, you know they've got a. A sporting, I think it's a sporting director in. I think I've got the right terminology there. Uh, it just looked like they want to move forward because, you know, they, they I know from um, when the owners took over there, they don't want to be seen as as little old Barra. They want, you know, they they got back in the league and their ambition is is more than just simply to to stay in there. Um, and I think that's been shown in terms of where they've gone about uh, the job, some of the players that they've signed. Um, so yeah, it's it'll be a difficult game no matter what. We know kind of how Pete wants to set his teams up, um, but that doesn't mean that you can negate it. That sometimes that's just individual battles on on the night. And the most important thing, of, as always, is to make sure as a team, you know, that as as attitudes right going into the game. Are they still playing the same style uh, Wild did when he was at Halifax last season? Still same kind of play that Halifax played. Yeah, I, I think so from what I've seen and now they set up and you don't get me wrong, they've changed at times, certainly he did at Halifax, but in general, I think if you said to me you've got a game against a Pete Wilde team and it's a one-off game, he's got the players that he wants, I think that's how I'd expect Barra to line up tomorrow night and some good attacking players, some good threats there, some experience in the team, um, so they've got a bit of everything, but you know, we in a good place themselves. Hopefully the players go into the game confident and you know, I'm hoping that, like I said, I get back on that coach after the game and at least have something to come back to Grimsby with.